coral reef is a colony of hundreds of thousands of individual animals called coral polyps. These polyps secrete calcium carbonate, also known as limestone, to form a hard exoskeleton that is fixed in one place. Over time, these build up to form vast reef structures. Different species of coral polyp grow slowly to form different shapes and sizes. There are over 800 species of hard coral, which over time build up to form large reefs. Coral reefs are important for biodiversity in the ocean in the same way tropical rainforests are important for biodiversity on land. Coral reefs are inhabited by 25% of the world's marine species. Further, reef sediments can eventually form islands which provide a breeding habitat for numerous bird and turtle species. Despite this high level of biodiversity, they cover only 0.17% of the ocean floor. This is because coral reefs can only exist in special conditions. Coral reefs only grow in clear, salty waters that are between 18 and 26 degrees Celsius and less than 50 meters deep. Therefore, the spatial distribution of coral reefs is heavily influenced by latitude, location, and altitude. In this video, I will outline the various factors that influence the location of the world's coral reefs, and I will use Australia's Great Barrier Reef and Lingaloo Reef as case studies. There are three types of coral reef structures. Fringing reefs grow seaward directly from the shore of both mainland and islands. These are the most common types of reef. They form a border along the shoreline. The largest fringing coral reef in the world is the Ningaloo Reef, which stretches 260 kilometres along the coastline of Western Australia. Barrier reefs also run parallel to the shoreline, except they form offshore and are separated from the land by an expanse of water between the reef and the shore. They form a barrier between the land and the open sea. Australia's Great Barrier Reef is the world's largest coral reef system with a total area of approximately 344,000 square kilometres. The Great Barrier Reef is not actually one single feature, as its name suggests. It is composed of 2,900 individual reefs and over 900 offshore islands. The Great Barrier Reef is also considered to be the world's youngest reef system. With the modern reef we know today developing around 9,500 years ago with the sea level rises that followed the end of the last ice age. Atolls are reefs with a circular shape that have an open lagoon in the centre. They begin as fringing reefs that form in the shallow waters around volcanic islands. Over time the reef continues to expand. Meanwhile, erosion processes over long periods can cause the volcanic island in the interior to sink below sea level, eventually leaving a ring of coral with a lagoon in its centre. A very important factor influencing reef development is latitude, as the surface water is warmer near the equator and colder at the poles. Therefore, coral reefs are located in warm waters in the tropics and subtropics. Australia's Great Barrier Reef, for example, is located between the Tropic of Capricorn and the equator, and thus has a warm climate all year round. The Great Barrier Reef extends 2,300 kilometres from Bramble Cay near Cape York at a latitude of 9 degrees 8 minutes south to Lady Elliot Island at a latitude of 24 degrees 6 minutes south. Australia's other famous reef, Ningaloo, is located 1,200 kilometres northeast of Perth, between the latitudes of 21 degrees 42 minutes 14 seconds south to 24 degrees 1 minute 52 seconds south. Ningaloo is believed to be young in geological terms at about 8,000 years old. The karst landscape of the adjacent Cape Range National Park owes its existence to changes in sea level exposing previous reefs. 
Another factor influencing the location of coral reefs is altitude. Because corals are an aquatic organism, they cannot grow at altitudes any higher than the low watermark. Corals also need sunlight, therefore 80% of corals grow best in warm, shallow waters to a depth of about 30 metres. Some coral species can grow to a depth of 150 metres. For this reason, many of the world's major coral reefs are located in shallow waters near the eastern edges of continents, where there are warm equatorial currents. Coral reefs are generally absent on the western coast of continents because the western coast of continents have cold currents. Ningaloo Reef in Western Australia is a notable exception to this. Ningaloo is located on Ecotone, a transition zone between temperate and tropical waters. The Lewin Current brings warmer water from the north, allowing corals to flourish, while the Ningaloo Current brings cooler water from the south. As a result, the Ningaloo Coast hosts a big diversity of marine species. Another factor that affects the growth of coral is that it requires very saline water ranging from 32 to 42 parts per thousand. Tropical regions such as North Queensland have high levels of rainfall. Fresh water will kill corals, therefore coral reefs do not exist where rivers discharge fresh water into the sea. Further, coral needs very low levels of turbidity to allow light to penetrate it. Corals therefore do not grow well in muddy waters. Coral reefs do not fringe the mainland beaches of North Queensland because high levels of tropical rainfall causes rivers to flood and deposit large quantities of sediment into the sea, resulting in muddy waters such as these waters found near the mouth of the Barren River near Cairns. Ningaloo Reef is located in a region where the desert meets the sea. This hot and arid region with an average temperature of 24.8 degrees Celsius and precipitation of just 260 millimetres a year results in low levels of fresh water and sediment running into the sea. Ideal conditions for coral reef building. 